In 1934, a 14-year-old girl took the stage at the Auditorium Theater in Chicago, Illinois. She was there to audition for the director of the world-famous Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo. She not only passed the audition, she instantly became the dance troupe's youngest member, its first member of Japanese ancestry, and its first American. Her name was Sono Asato, and the rest of her journey would be as remarkable as its beginning. She has led the most wonderful life. I feel that she really embodies what it means to have a journey in dance and what it means to have a life outside of dance as well. And her story needs to be told. American born in Omaha, Nebraska to a Canadian mother and Japanese father in 1919, Sono developed a passion for dance that continues to this day. With Ballet Russe, she broke age and racial barriers and launched a career that would span the globe. During the same years that young Sono was dancing throughout the world, her parents took on the responsibility of caretakers at the Japanese Tea Garden and Phoenix Pavilion in Chicago's Jackson Park. But it gave Mr. Osato a profile that soon proved too high. World War II broke out the day after Pearl Harbor. Sono's father was taken and held at an internment camp in Chicago. Progress in overcoming adversity had come to a halt. Now in New York City, dancing for the Ballet Theater, Sono had to resort to using her mother's maiden name, becoming Sono Fitzpatrick. Overcoming widespread racial prejudice became as big a challenge as mastering increasingly demanding choreography. It affected not just her career, but her life. She was banned from traveling with the company. Because of my Japanese ancestry, I would not be allowed to leave the country. In shock, I asked myself, what does this mean? I'm an American. It had never occurred to me that the government would ever doubt my loyalty to my country or deprive me of my work. This did both. The war ended. Sono had married and would eventually have two sons. Her dancing career had not only continued during the war, but had expanded. Sono's versatility had brought her work as an actress in such acclaimed Broadway musicals as One Touch of Venus and On the Town, and would eventually lead to film and television too. She is probably one of the most lyrical dancers I have ever seen. Beautiful hands, beautiful feet, the way she would measure taking a step or doing a variation. It was always very thoughtful. Everything Sono Osato does is incredibly thoughtful. There's a certain delicacy to her movements, even though she's a very strong uh, dancer. Today, the impact of Sono Osato's life and career is entering yet another chapter. On January 9th, 2016, Photos Dance Chicago will stage the world premiere of Sono's Journey, an original story ballet. I think it's perfect to share her th story through dance because she herself committed her life to dance and her family fueled her passion for dance and her dance fueled her passion for family. They're one and the same. Sono herself, still in New York City at 96, will attend the premiere in Chicago, where nowhere else but the Auditorium Theater, bringing Sono Asato's journey full circle nearly 82 years after that 14-year-old girl first took its stage.